Have you ever wanted to get inside the mind of an e-commerce marketer as they go inside a Google Ads account? We're gonna do that in this video. Let's go. Okay, this is a Google Ads audit. In these videos, I dive straight into a real Google Ads account and show you real strategies to make big improvements. If you're new here, my name is Sam and I help e-commerce stores grow remotely. I've helped many different stores grow to over seven figures, including my own. If you want to get more tutorials, case studies, and audit videos, consider subscribing so you can learn to grow your store as well. Okay, a little bit about the e-commerce store that I'm auditing today. They sell fancy lingerie in the US. It's not something that I would wear personally, but there's definitely a huge market for this. They really just need to get their products in front of the right people. They had set the account up themselves and they wanted an expert opinion. They had a lot of good practices in place already, but I found a lot of great opportunities like conversion tracking, bidding, shopping campaigns, and restructuring their search campaign. If you watch this video and you find it useful, please give it a thumbs up. This tells YouTube that we are making great content that people find useful. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey, Katie and Renee, I'm just gonna make this quick video here to go over your current account and talk about the strategy that we'll be implementing going forward. So I'm in your account here, just looking at all the different campaigns. And the first thing I'll say is we really need to get some conversion tracking set up. It doesn't look like it, that's been set up yet. I see that you do have the code installed um, in the conversion settings. I'll go into them here actually. So in your conversion um, settings, but we really need to make sure that this is tracking properly because you've spent quite a lot of money without any conversions in the Google Ads account. Um, and that, that means that we do have a lot of data, but it's really hard to see what, what's actually really worked. So it's saying uh, tag inactive. What I'll do first up is use our Google Analytics to pull in the transactions. So we'll deal with that soon, but that's the biggest thing uh, because then we know exactly uh, what's actually working in the account, what's bringing conversions, what's generating sales and what we can double down on. Um, so I see that you've got uh, a number of different campaigns and I would actually have quite a similar sort of structure. Um, and the big difference uh, that we'll be doing is in a lot of the different management and optimization work we'll be doing. So your shopping campaign, this is going to be where the biggest opportunity is. And um, with, because you have so many products, you have the potential to, to um, have a lot of spend here, uh, a lot of volume, uh, which I personally, I think there's a lot of opportunity here to grow this campaign, to be a real driver for this account. And I, I do predict that with this campaign, we'll be seeing uh, the majority of, of sales come through the shopping campaign, the whole account. Um, so here, the first thing I'll say, I'll go into the products, uh, but what we'll be doing is, is um, doing a big update of the feed because at the moment, the titles need a lot of uh, adjustments um, for, so that <clears throat> for better um, impressions. So basically Google really looks at those, those titles of all the products in your feed um, and uses that information to figure out what sort of, who are we going to show these products to? And there's a lot, we would definitely restructure this and put more information, more keywords into the titles. Um, and we'd also um, fix a lot of these these problems here. But the big thing is, yeah, the, the titles, the descriptions, um, we'll test out the images and later we'll, we'll test out different images um, and how they they perform. But the big thing is the, the, the feed. And um, we do that all in our software. We have software that, that um, helps manage the feed um, and all the titles and descriptions uh, very, in a very easy way. And it doesn't affect how things look on the actual store, only what's shown in the ads. As well as there, I did have a look at your settings um, and there are quite a lot of changes we, we would do here, really quick changes. Until we get conversion tracking set up, we definitely wouldn't use enhanced CPC. And until we get it, get at least you know, 30 to 50 conversions per month, and we'd start using that sort of information. Uh, we would take it off the search partners and the, the YouTube and display network, um, just because uh, historically amongst all, all our accounts and experience, uh, these are good to test out later, but initially these actually cost much more per conversion than just doing it on the search network. In locations, we'd also change this to people in, um, and that, that's really important because otherwise, pe right now, people that are outside the US, um, say in India or, or Australia or, or any other country that may have shown any interest in the US, they potentially can see your ads. Um, and when I did a, I did a, a check um, in the locations, like in the, I, I ran a geographic report and I did find that about 3% to 5% uh, of all people, uh, when I did this and I exported into Excel and then I, I looked at the data, 3 to 5% of people uh, we're actually outside the US and that's not a, a massive amount, but it definitely has an impact because if those people can't actually order uh, wh wherever they are overseas, um, then we can save uh, save some budget by just changing to that second option. So that's the, the shopping campaign. There'll be a lot of work done there. Um, we'd also potentially split these into different groups, but a big thing that I would, I would do 
is do uh, bidding on the product level. So we have a pool strategy system that we implement on all our accounts where we can export all this data into a, a spreadsheet and we run these formulas based on the actual uh, product sale value. Um, we will look at and, and your profit margin as well, uh, your average profit margin across across products. And we'll basically go, okay, here's how much we can spend per, per product, uh, per sale, the max CPA. And we'll adjust all our bids based on this, based on the conversion uh, conversion rates of these products and how they've performed in the past. And what this does is it, it, it it's really good, a really good strategy for turning around a campaign um, and just changing everything into profitability. Um, so that's something that we'll, we'll implement. And that'll be very, very effective. Um, I saw that you have your i think it was this one your own personal brand that's really really good keeping that in there i think that's really awesome um i will also check out the ads so we'd also test multiple ads so even got one going here uh, but we test a few so we can constantly improve um test how they perform and pause the loser and change the winner and keep keep adjusting um let me just check this out so i think this is a really 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 good campaign targeting the brands i've seen that work really well uh, with apparel that i've worked with um and so, yeah, we would do that too, um, but we'd also make sure uh, we test out different ads. Um, we would also play around with different keywords and adjust our bidding depending on how the performance is. It yeah, would test out multiple ads and make sure that all extensions are installed. So we'd improve these extensions. You just increase the space in the ads. Um, that's a big one. Um, we'd also be doing expansion. So basically looking at um, uh, for each of these, say for this one, for EverJ, in the search terms report, we'll be able to see what people are searching with. So we'll build out, say, a new ad group that targets people looking for um, EverJ lingerie um, or, or anything like that. That's that's really really relevant to what we're what we're selling. Something that isn't um, relevant, we'll we'll pause. Say we don't have any like a, depending on the different brand, but um, maybe a certain brands doing a different uh, product category or something like that. We would make sure we exclude these. Um, but a lot of these we would build out our own ad groups um and have targeted ads for those ad groups and then try to send them to a more relevant page if possible um so that's part of that strategy uh, and that's a working process we do that constantly as we as we uh, work on the campaigns um i also saw that you had a general campaign here it is the generic test this is really really good idea too uh and part of this as well is once you test these out make sure you really watch the search terms report and then find we'll be watching the conversions too that's really important once you have conversion tracking but say um exotic luxury lingerie that's converting really well it's not getting a lot of volume right now but as, as an example then we would split that into its own ad group and then use that those those uh, that search query in the actual ad copy uh, to improve click-through rates and improve the quality score which means you pay less per click which improves your cpa so that's all part of the process of, of building out all these different ad groups that means that when people search for anything uh, that we want to show for they're getting an ad that's way more targeted and we're paying less for each of those conversions um, so I would actually keep those uh, campaigns. Uh, we would get conversion tracking installed and we would then implement our processes to build out those campaigns um, on the basis of how things are converting. The last thing we would definitely do is build out a remarketing campaign um, using just, uh, dynamic remarketing. So basically, depending on how someone interacts with the store, if they go to the homepage, we'll show them a cer certain ads. If they go to an actual product, we'll then show them that exact product. Um, and we'll do this on the display network, uh, which I'm sure you know about. It's 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 all the different banner ads on blogs and all over the web. Um, and that's something we'll definitely uh, test out. And that's an also another optimization process of um, making sure that we're showing in the right places um, and adjusting our bids for those clicks um, and seeing what converts. And, and, and the reason we split those up is because each different audience that we can pinpoint, say people that go to a product page or especially people that add to cart and then abandon, we can adjust the message that we, we, we send to those people based on how they've interacted with the site. So someone that might go to the abandoned cart, go to a cart, abandon the, the purchase, they might be price conscious, may have seen a shipping fee or something like this. We can then uh, show them a discount and try and bring them back to complete the purchase. And I will track all the conversion data for that and make sure we're optimizing that so it's, it's profitable, um, but that's another strategy we'll be implementing. So I'll send her an email um, with how we can get started um, as soon as possible. Um, but I just wanted to make this video just to, to give an overview of the account. And I'm really, really excited to get started on this. I think there's a lot of opportunity and I'm really keen to see how this goes in the next few months. So um, we'll be in touch soon. I'll send her that email, but I'm really looking forward to getting started. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.
Okay, there you have it. That was super speedy, but there was a ton of useful information in there. If you have any questions about anything I spoke about, please leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, like I said, if you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up. I make a lot of different videos just like this one. I'll leave a link in the description to a playlist of other audit videos that I've done so you can get more and more insights for your Google Ads account. I also have case studies and a series where I create my own store and follow it from the ground up to seven figures. You can follow along as I do this in these regular video updates. In these updates, I give you all the income that I'm earning, all the strategies I'm implementing inside the Google Ads accounts, Facebook, organic rankings, everything. I recommend subscribing and turning on notifications so you can see exactly when they're coming out and follow along as I grow this store. I'll leave a link to that playlist as well so you can see where we're up to. At the moment, we've released one of those updates, but we're gonna be releasing one every one to three months or so. It's gonna be a long process. Anyway, I really hope you found this video useful. Bye for now and I'll see you next time.